Hey, let's get into this Timothy Desert Storm Bradley situation about Boots Ennis ducking Virgil Ortiz. Bradley, what's going on? What's going on, people? Yo, I'm chiming in real quick, man. I heard the news about uh, Boots and Virgil supposed to be off. I'm just letting y'all know right now that's duck soup. Duck's soup at its finest. That's exactly the way you do it when you want to duck somebody. When you ex when you change your mind, you know, when you don't believe that you that, that, that damn good. I don't want to hear nobody else say anything about Boots, Boots people ducking. And we ain't saying none of that no more. Absolutely not. This is a, a clear indicator right here that he don't want no smoke with anybody because this is the perfect matchup for him at 154 pounds. This is against a smaller guy. It's not a big guy. You know, he's been at 54 for a while, but this is the perfect match. And what about all that talk y'all was doing after the fight? Your promoter was doing after the fight. Man, 154, you know, 147 is really hard for him to make. You know what I mean? The weight, you know, the weight is an issue. You know, y'all was blaming that on his last performance, right? What? Now you want to stay at 47? Look, you can stay at 47. You can fight, right? All you got to do is, is, is talk to the sanctioning body. That's all you gotta do is tell them, hey, I wanna take this, I wanna take, uh, I wanna actually go up to 54. And I wanna fight, I wanna fight, uh, Virgil. Can I maintain my belt at 147 pounds? Yes. And they gonna say, yeah, as long as you pay the sanctioning fee. That's it. That's all he gotta do. But obviously, mm, he's not as bad as y'all think he is. All them fans out there thinking he'd be bad, right? Mmm. This ain't a good look from Boots and this team, man. And you talking about Boots ain't Boots ain't fought nobody, this and that, and all, all that in the third, man. This is this is not looking good for the Boots camp, man. This is not looking good for Eddie Hearns. Eddie Hearns ain't even got to come out the pocket for this. This is gonna be Saudi Arabia money. This is unbelievable to me, man. Boots, come on now. You need to fight at 54, bro. Come on, step up and face this man, bro, because I'm telling you right now, you looking like a sucker right now, man. You and your team looking like a sucker, bro. Gear up. Let's go. Anyways, that's my time, man. I just wanted to chime in real quick, let y'all know, man. I'm hearing the noise. I'm out doing my thizzle. As you know, I'm at the soccer field. My girl in the semifinals. That's what I'm talking about, baby, in the semifinals. They doing their thizzle. But anyways, I'll let y'all, man. Peace and love. But this is some duck soup. Peace. Cool cheese and Jordan Ennis. Talk to us. He didn't go the way you would have liked. Yeah, no, I'm still talking, but we got, when we got proposed the fight, it was at 147, which was obviously a no-brainer. Um, then we was told it was 154, which is fine. But it's just timing, really. We've got unification fights in the work, and Boots has got to decide to vacate the title, to move up, to fight for no title. So I wouldn't say it's completely dead, but time-wise, if they're looking to announce it today, it probably won't happen. Um, but it's on Boots. It's up to him. And he's, you know, he hasn't made a decision about his weight class yet, but he's still leaning towards trying to unify, so that's probably going to be the option. Yeah, so beyond February the 22nd, could we not be surprised if we see a fight announcement between them two for the summer? No, uh, maybe in the summer, but February 22nd, I'm not saying he's completely dead, but it's difficult trying to close the fight on Thanksgiving and saying to Booth, right, you've got to vacate your title today. He's like, well, can I not unify? It's like, well, you can, but we need an answer. So that was the conversation last night. So uh, we'll see what happens today. Yeah, does that mean he could unify on February the 22nd? In no, no. He, if he doesn't fight... Ortiz, he won't fight till April. It's showtime! Wow. Tim just called Jerron Boots Ennis duck soup he ducking Virgil Ortiz and he don't want to fight he said Ver Tim, I mean Jerron got a lot of mouth they can't make the weight they gonna go up to 154 and they gonna fight some of the other guys at 154 pounds cause nobody wanna fight at 147 I mean you still have Brian Norman that wanted to fight but 
and boots i don't think he really wanted to really go up to 154 i think that was eddie hearns getting it to his ear so i think eddie hearns got something up his sleeve he want to get Carter ben that belt so when boots in his drop that belt Carter ben can pick it up that's his main because he one two one two one two he really like Carter ben that's his countryman Carter ben so of course he gonna want Carter ben to get that belt Carter ben ain't never been a champion so for boots to not i guess not take the fight like Tim was saying, he could have went to the sanctioning bodies and paid that sanctioning fee to say, hey, look, let me get this fight at 147. I mean, 154. Can I still keep my and retain my belt at 147? I just want to go up here, make this money, and I'm still going to campaign at 147. I guess he's saying that Jerron Ennis didn't do that, didn't want to do that. Well, yeah, that's what it's looking like because I made a video earlier today about Eddie Hearns speaking upon that situation. Basically, Boots is in being cornered in a, in a corner to fight. Either he going to drop the belt and go up to 154 and fight Virgil Ortiz or he going to stay at 147 and duck Virgil Ortiz or he can go to the sanctioning bodies and pay the sanctioning fee. Whatever that sanctioning fee is, just pay that and beat this out of Virgil Ortiz and come back down and be at 147. I know his walk around weight is probably about 160 boots. So campaigning at 154 won't be anything. If I was boots, that's something that I would do. I mean, to be a two division world champion and, and, and defeating Virgil Ortiz and you get, you getting that overseas money. You know, Turkey Ellis Sheet going to pay you a healthy guap. Why not? Why not take that money? I know all money ain't good money. But at the same time, you can't let money like that pass you by. You can't let opportunities like that pass you by. I mean, if that was me, I'll take it. Win, lose, or draw. As long as I can say, hey, I done been in there with the best. And a lot of people have been saying they want to see Booth in there, you know, with the best. You know, um, in his last fight with uh, Karen Trukazan, Trukazian, Korean Trukazian, whoever the guy name is, that he fought twice. He ended up dropping the guy. And the guy put up a spectacular performance, both fights. And Booth couldn't cut off the ring in the first fight. You know, and in the second fight, he was dogging it out with Boots and was, you know, catching Boots with some great shots. And now people want to see Boots in there with, you know, some real people that can really fight, like Virgil Ortiz or Brian Norman, Terrence Crawford, or whomever. Next, who Boots going to fight? He going to wait? Going to sit around, just hold on the belt and, and not take the money? I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to pay him at least five or six million dollars for that fight. Why not? I'm not finna pass it up. But um, as y'all just heard, Tim Bradley, and from what he had to say, y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace.